Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Virginia. Let me open with prayer. Heavenly Father, may you receive all the glory for this video, and may your words be spoken, not mine. And may everybody who comes to watch it be blessed. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So let me present the gospel. Jesus loves you. And he wants you to spend eternity in heaven with him. But the only way that can happen is if you were born again. So first, admit that you're a sinful creature, like we all are. Then believe that Jesus is who he says he is, fully God, fully man. He came to earth, lived a perfect and sinless life. He shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins. He died, was buried, and rose again from the dead on the third day. All you have to do is believe that. Believe it. And without adding in any of your own good works or trying to be good, it doesn't have anything to do with being, belonging to any church or practicing any religion. The moment you believe is like a personal encounter that you have in your heart between you and God himself, where you receive these truths into your own heart for yourself. And when that happens... You call in his name because the scripture says, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the moment you do that, you receive the Holy Spirit who indwells you forever. He will never leave you nor forsake you because salvation is eternal. You can never lose it. So I hope you have believed. Please feel free to send me an email. My email address is in the description box or you can leave a comment below. Well, this video, I intend to keep it very short, but just to let you know what's been going on a little bit. Um, first of all, my dogs have been acting absolutely crazy. It's just unbelievable. Um, we have a little white 14-year-old Jack Russell Terrier named Lucy, and Lucy has been barking and barking, and she won't stop. And... It's, it's really disconcerting, like she knows something's going on. The other one is a 12 and a half year old Beagle Lab mix named Bernie. And Bernie has been acting very strange. He's been hiding in strange places, like the floor of our master bedroom closet, or just kind of slinking around, can't get comfortable, st sitting in the dark looking, staring at supposedly nothing, and also looking at me with this this look of concern and dread. I don't know, have any of the rest of you been having pets that have been acting strange? Well, that's the first question, the first topic I wanted to talk about. Is I'm, I'm pretty sure they can tell something spiritual is up. And the next thing I wanted to tell you about is a dream that I had last night. And I asked the Lord, and yes, I'm supposed to do this video about this dream because I I never dream. I don't get a lot of dreams. I I don't remember the last time I had a dream from the Lord. Maybe it's about the time of the first lockdown in, in March. At any rate, um, I will tell you that it was very short and very powerful. I was in the basement of an older house, and I was in a room sorting clothing, like deciding what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. And suddenly the foundation started to shake of the house. And I could hear this, I could just hear this shaking going on. And my first thought was that it was an earthquake. But it wasn't. It was like a spiritual tsunami. Almost like a sonic boom without the boom. Like you have this sense of extreme pressure coming at you all over in the atmosphere and at you. And I did not hear the boom, but I did hear a howling or um, a rushing of spiritual power. And I had never seen or heard anything like that before. It was like there was a spiritual shift that happened um, I couldn't move. I tried to 
tried to move to the other side of the basement because I thought it would be safer there in case the house caved in and I couldn't move. But I know that something happened. This dream was telling me something happened in the dream at, at the very least. And it's something huge and it's beyond huge even. And I honestly think that it was something going on in the world out there that maybe has to do with the rise of the Antichrist spirit and the result of many, many witchcraft rituals that are being performed at this time. And I just wanted to share that with you because these things are going on. There are many spiritual shifts happening in the world. This is why we are all so distressed. But there is a scripture that talks about us being dead to sin. And it's in Romans 6. I'm going to read verses 3 through 11. And here's what it says. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall, all, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Well, this is really important because we are buried in baptism through, or what is the exact term, buried with him by baptism into death. And so we are dead, dead to sin. And what happens if, if you were to poke a dead body? It doesn't move. It doesn't react. And so when we see the sin going on out there in the world or different things that are happening, we are not to be troubled. We are not to be alarmed. We are to just not react and just not pay attention. I think that's a great comfort for us, a very great comfort. And the second comfort, of course, is that even though Christ died, he rose again from the dead and, and we're dead with him and we will rise again too. So my encouragement for everybody today is to keep it steady. Be steady on an even keel. Think of that fruit of the Spirit called uh, temperance, which is self-control or moderation, depending on the translation. But in the King James, it is temperance. So I wanted to encourage you all with that today, sending you all my love. I do love you. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for coming. And if there's another video to post, God will show me and I'll put it up. Until then, bye for now.